Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Tobo here, and today I have a quick tutorial on the uh, the drawbridge I've designed. Um, this is just what I've made so far. There's going to be better designs for sure, but uh, this is just uh, day one what I've got and what you can use if you'd like. Um, it's a consecutive drawbridge design, um, so everything will go down at once. I'll give you a little demonstration here. Um, it all goes to a single uh, input. They will all go down and they will all go up in unison. Um, the only downside of drawbridge is if you're trying to uh, trick a human player, they can just smack them down. So you want to have some kind of death trap below it. But if you're just dealing with NPCs, you can raise a bridge and they're, they can't do anything to you. So uh, I will show you my quick design for one of these. Um, the only problem I've had so far is hidden wiring. It's not 100% so far. You can use like half steps to cover up wires and they, they won't cut it off and stuff, but uh, so far it's kind of big, so I recommend you build this into a wall or something. But uh, I plan on incorporating this into a big man-made bridge out of cobble, so I'm still working on hiding it. So we'll, we'll start right over here. What you want to do is, well, I'm just going to do this for demonstrational purposes. You want to uh, mark off a little area for the where the pit would be or whatever. This is just something. And you build two up. And you build all the way across. This is the blocks that will support the, uh, the what's it called, drawbridges or the hatches or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, pick with me. This is going to be a a non torch one. What you want to do is you put a torch and you skip one every time. So you put a torch there, a torch there, you, you put nothing in between, right? Once you got these two, you uh, you dig one block down and for these ones you put a block behind them. As you can see, that's how you do it, that's the starting. Oh, I guess we should put the hatches on, so you just load up the hatches, it's just normal, nothing special. Okay, once you have this, you put a redstone here, redstone here, redstone here, and a redstone down there. And these will all lead out one, actually no, just the uh, just the down ones will lead out. You can lead them out a couple if you'd like. And you will build up one, no wait, sorry, mix this up. You will move uh, one block over, build up two, and you will put a torch on it. So it should connect to the, the raised blocks. Do that again on this side. Okay, there we go. Once you have that, you will build one out. I'm running a room here, but it'll be fine. And you put um, redstone across here. This will be where it goes. It'll if you have sets of these, it'll just keep going and going and going. This is just a set of four to give you a, a baseline. And once you have the wire across, which will usually connect to another set or it will lead to a switch like that one, put uh, redstone on top here. And that should be it. Connect it to a switch over here. And there you have it. They will all work. Um, this has to be designed like this, raised and lowered, because you don't want the redstone wires to be connecting. You want them to connect straight into the block. If you had it uh, all in a line here, it would just be one jumbled mess, and it would be like something like this, and you don't want that, because then it doesn't connect to anything. It's just a big circle. So, this is just one little section. You can do the identical thing on the other side. So, it would just be this... And you just put a drawbridge here, and not get stuck under it. So you would just put another set on the other side to make it symmetrical, and you'd have a, a double bridge. And then you would uh, connect the two edge ending wires to, uh, this is just an example, but you connect the two ending wires, and then you would have something that would, like, do them all, but this isn't wired up on the other side. But you get what I'm, I'm saying. So that's how you make drawbridges that are consecutive. You can make them as long as you like. Um, there's a bunch of redstone torches in here, so you wouldn't have to deal with any repeaters unless you want the switch, which would activate it or like raise and lower to be uh, farther away. 
And uh, that's it for the tutorial. I might revise this, but this is just day one. If you want to get a drawbridge pumped out for whatever you're making, this is how you do it. Like I said, one input, consecutive bridges. Um, the hidden part isn't quite finished yet. You can you can hide everything back here fairly easily. It might look a little big, but I'm sure people can get past that. But the only thing you won't be able to hide is these torches. Um, I tried to mess around with paintings. It didn't work out well, but if you have a proper death trap, it'll work out just fine. They don't even need to see the torches to be dead. So uh, that's it for the day one tutorial. Like I said, I might revise this. But uh, I'll see you guys next time.